Jake Schwartz here at the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, here at Big East Men's and Women's Basketball Media Day. And look who I ran into, one of my favorite people I see in and out of this business, and the proud father of two Monsignor Bonner graduates, or I should say one Bonner graduate, one that's in the Bonner basketball right now, the one and only, he is the longtime Villanova women's basketball coach, Harry Peretta. Harry, a pleasure, as always, to see you. Good to see you, boys. And you know that we go back a long way from the days of Narberth basketball and to the high school world. And we're really, first of all, we're very excited about Bonner basketball. Uh, everybody's back this season, including Catholic League Player of the Year, Isaiah Wong. But I want to talk to you about why we're here today. The job that you've done so hard for, for how many years officially have you been the women's basketball coach at Villanova? This would be my 41st. Which you do so well. Almost as uh, long term as Herb McGee of Philly University. Yes, almost. Tell us about the outlook for the season. Um, uh, you're back home. You're now in the new Finneran Pavilion. How excited are you for the season? Uh, the Finneran Pavilion is really nice. Excited about playing there. Um, I'm excited for the season because I think we have a competitive team, but I think Marquette and DePaul are clearly the two best teams in the league. And they picked us third. That's where we finished last year. But to be honest with you, I mean, three or four games that were one or two point wins for us were the difference between third and fifth or third and sixth. So, yeah. you know, I'm worried that, you know, we could wind up like the Eagles this year, you know, lose yeah, a couple yeah. of those close games. And instead of being third, we could be sixth, you know. So, But isn't that what Big East basketball you feel like is all about? They always talk about there's among some of the best conferences in the country, the A-10, the American Athletic, the Big 12, Big Sun. The Big East certainly has to be in the top three, if yeah, not mean, higher. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're actually ranked six behind all the power football schools. Yes. So, so we're the highest of the non-BCS schools. So that means our league is very competitive. Yeah, and like the Catholic League in Philadelphia, anybody can win on any given night. Yes, that's true. And that's something that I've definitely learned. And let's talk about uh, your son. Bonner is back. They're going to possibly face Roman. Outlook could be very, very good with Isaiah Wong back at action. Yeah, I mean, I think Bonner will be competitive. I'm, I'm happy for my son, Michael, that he gets a chance to play. I, obviously, he's not the best player. Oh, uh, he's, he's good enough. He, he's good enough to, to help them <laughs> a little bit, but I always get on him about, you know, just do your role and don't try to do what you can't do. Well, speaking of roles, I want to leave you with one final thought. Adriana Hahn, Grace Stanton, Janet Tucker are all here today. Mm -hmm. What are their roles at Villanova? Well, Adriana's role is to score the ball, make threes, and handle the point. Jan is just to defend the best player on the other team and to score. And Grace is, will be to either come off the bench or start at the four spot and, and make three point shots. And we're certainly expecting a big season. When do you start the year? Uh, I think it's November 14th, but don't hold me to that. Well, that's okay. We'll still be keeping uh, tabs on you throughout the season. Jake Schwartz again here at the world's famous Madison Square Garden with one of my favorite guests, longtime Villanova women's head coach, Harry Peretta. Thank you, Harry. Thanks, boys.